So this initially was a week in the life. However, I realized how boring my week is at the moment. So we're changing it to a day in the life. Good morning, everyone. It is a Thursday. It is 20 to 7 at the moment. Um, I got up at 5 today because I needed to drop Mark off at the train station. Steve was going to London today. He's going there for work. So I had to get up, take him uh, to the train station, came back. But I was going to go to the gym. Didn't decide to go to the gym because I'm not really a morning gym person. So I've got a haircut today. Funnily enough, I also have my haircut on the last day in the life as well. Seems to be a recurring event. We have the Christmas background going on because it's exactly a month today until Christmas. It's the 25th of November today, so it's very exciting. Today I have got obviously work at eight o'clock and then at half past 11, I need to go and get my hair cut and then I'll go to the gym straight from there. And then, yeah. Today I'll be working on Unit 8 of Civil Dispute Resolution, which isn't the most fun module, I'll be honest. It's, it's not the best, but it's fine. Anything to get that degree. And plus, this was a module that was non-negotiable, like it's the compulsory module you have to do. So yeah, still got another hour and a half really until I start work. I feel like I might just start with a little bit of studying now anyway, just to try and get it out of the way for this afternoon and then I've got a less busy day. Um, I still need to do my business law reading actually. So I might just get on with that now, do a little bit of that and then hopefully be all caught up for this evening. So I'll do my business law reading now, even though I've never really started studying at this time, but I thought I might as well kill the time whilst doing it. So yeah. I best crack on with that then because that's just all of a sudden a spontaneous idea that I've had and actually it's a smart move because then I'm all caught up. Okay, so we have migrated upstairs after quite a long study session actually. Um, on administration of companies and liquidation and everything like that. So it was actually really quite interesting. It's the first time I've been properly engaged with business law. So that's a bonus. That's obviously, we're on unit eight now. Come on, Jordan, step it up. You have to be engaged. I haven't finished it. That was a quite a long study session, but there is so many chapters that I have to read for that because it's such a big topic. But I think I might um, split it out throughout the day. So go get my hair cut later on, go to the gym, and then do a little bit more reading afterwards, and then get back on with normal work, and then do civil dispute, civil dispute resolution tonight. But at the moment, I've just finished my morning meeting, so it's half past nine now, and I'm currently looking at Christmas pajamas. So there's an Asda literally right next to my house. So yeah, looking at Christmas pajamas, potentially go on the way back from the gym, just to pick some up maybe. I'm gonna get me and Mike matching Christmas pajamas and then Christmas Eve we have friends coming over and we're doing a pajama party. So yeah, I might get some Christmas pajamas today, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe another day. But I do need to get some because it looks like a lot of them are selling out and I want some nice ones. I also have a little Christmas setup in the office. Well not Christmas setup, but like I've got this little gonk gnome thing. Well, where I'm from we call it a gonk. So <laughs> if you know what a gonk is. That's essentially a gong, um, but that this is actually a tea light holder as well, so it lights up. And then I just decorated the base of my monitor just to make it look all festive and cheerful. Well, not festive, but just nice. As you've just seen, obviously upstairs, we have the Christmas decorations in the office. Well, not decorations, but it's got a little bit of festivities going on. Um, festivities, festive spirit, I suppose. So I'm gonna show you the actual Christmas decorations downstairs. So then you can just see how festive we are getting this year. So we've got our little little figures there, and then our stockings and little little decor bits. And then this is the tree. We're getting that's Coco. She's feeling Christmassy. This is the tree, and then we've got like a little garland going going down the stairs, which looks incredible as well. Got a little Santa there. Got a wreath on the door. We put it on the outside door, but it fell off. So we're having to put it there instead. And then if you go in the kitchen, 
There's another garland there, which looks incredible as well. And then finally, there's one over here. Oh, and then there's like a little pulpery bit here, which actually smells incredible. I've just spent the last 20 minutes, no, not 20 minutes, about 10 minutes speaking to the camera to only find out that it was flipped the wrong way around because um, I used my phone and it was on front camera instead of back camera. Um, what I was saying though is that I spent, b before setting off to my haircut, which is literally in one minute, spent the last 20 minutes running around frantically looking for my wallet when it was in my hand the whole time. So, that's great. So now I'm on my way to the haircut, I'm late. And then after that, I still need to go to the gym. And I also need to pick up my um, click and collect from Asda. Um, it's not the pajamas that, that I'm looking at this morning. I actually have food that I need to pick up, but yeah. Right, okay. I have just had my hair cut. I wanted to go to the gym. However, I got a work call whilst I was getting my hair cut. So I need to go home now to check what that was all about. And you know, client needs come first and whatnot. First, I need to go to Asda to pick up the shopping because um, that slot is between 12 and one and it's now 12.07. So I need to do that, I need to go home now. Hopefully I can still make it to the gym, but if not, it is what it is. Make sure the dog hasn't wrecked the house or ripped down all the Christmas decorations because she's some, she will do it, she will do it. So it's a little bit later now, it is just about five o'clock. I've just finished work and I need to basically, I didn't do any extra studying, didn't manage to get to the gym, which is annoying um, because work just took over everything, it took over my life. So I'm gonna continue with my business law reading. Um, if I've got time, I can do both the lectures and the reading for it, Silver Dispute Resolution. If I don't have time, that's fine. I'll just do the lectures, do the reading tomorrow. I'm not forcing myself to have late nights every single night. It's not happening. So, but I'm really happy that I did that hour and a bit this morning studying because it, it's got me, got a massive chunk of the kind of reading out of the way. So we're gonna crack on with that now because there's a lot, like I said. <laughs> I don't know why I always do this, but I've just wasted another like five minutes of my time explaining the Pomodoro method to you and I didn't actually press record. What I was saying is I'm currently on a five minute break um, in between little study sessions. And what I do is I do the Pomodoro method. Now I'm sure a lot of people have probably heard of it and tried it out, but if you haven't heard of it, basically what it is, you set a certain amount of time to work and then you get a little break after that and then you start the second set of time that you're going to work in the break so i'll do 25 minutes with a five minute break after the 25 minutes and then i'll start the 25 minute work five minute break and so on and keep going through that cycle until i finish the work that i need to get done for the day and it works really well i think the whole concept of it is basically to ensure that you're not just zoning out after a certain amount of time of studying basically it worked if you want to implement it in your normal work life as well which is what i do i'll put a 50 minute timer on and then do a 10 minute break then a 50 minute timer and 10 minute break again in like my normal day job but basically i think it just allows you to absorb the information a little bit better because you're getting them breaks in between you're just getting a little bit of kind of your, your brain's able to just relax for five minutes afterwards. I would recommend though, within like your five or 10 minute breaks, whatever you take, depending on the time scale that you are doing, definitely move away from your desk and definitely don't try not to go on your phone as much because essentially the time goes away quicker. You just get up, have a little walk around the house or whatever, um, get a drink, go to the toilet, whatever you need to do. Um, just try and stay off your phone as much as you can, but still obviously if you want to quickly scroll through social media, just make sure that you get straight back onto your study cycle after that. Um, I've been rambling on for a bit too long now, so I need to go back up and study because obviously I didn't record the first part that I thought I recorded. So yes, now I'm just going to fill up my water bottle. 
Um, and then just go straight back to getting work done because I need to get this business law reading done ASAP because I still haven't finished it. Mm, actually, change of plan. I'm gonna eat instead because I am hungry.